Today, we're gonna to be making the Aviation, a delicious gin cocktail. We're gonna do a very traditional version of it, and we're also gonna make a more modern version of it. Now, stay tuned to the end, because at the end we'll discuss why I think the modern version is just a little bit better, a little bit more balanced, and we're also going to discuss some fun variations on the drink as well. Hey everybody, I'm Chris from A Bar Above. I'm a 15-year veteran of the bar and somebody that just loves making delicious and creative cocktails. So we're gonna make the aviation here in a second, but before we do, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the history of this particular drink. Now, we're pretty lucky in that we do have a true origin story of this drink, unlike many others. So Hugo Enslin created this cocktail and put it on a New York hotel menu in 1913. He also published the recipe in his book in 1916, and he drew inspiration from two different things. First of all is a really cool product called Creme de Violette, and the second is Aviation, which was very popular and just taken off at the time. Um, so the cocktail is supposedly like a purple blue, and it's supposed to emulate the sky, hence the name Aviation. Now, Harry Craddock also published the recipe in Savoy Cocktail Book in 1930, but he omitted the creme de violette. So we're going to go old school, we're going to go to Hugo's recipe and make this with creme de violette. Now that we've talked a little bit about the history, let's go ahead and make Hugo's version of the aviation. Now for the more modern version of this one, the one I particularly like. Um, we're gonna do two ounces of gin, same as before, three quarter ounce of lemon juice, same as before, and we're gonna do half an ounce of maraschino, same as before. And here's where it starts to differ. We're gonna add a quarter ounce of simple syrup, And then now we're going to go ahead and shake this cocktail. And just like the other cocktail, we're going to go ahead and fine strain this to get all the ice out and pulp. And for the final step, we're gonna go ahead and measure out a quarter or a one bar spoon and put the creme de violette right across this one. So this is one of the reasons I love our jiggers. We actually have a bar spoon measure in it. Go figure, which is so cool. And then I'm just gonna put this right across and I think this is gonna drop. And finished off with a cherry. So that is a little bit more of the modern take on the aviation. So now let's go ahead and taste these two. Here we have the classic version of the aviation, and this is a much more modern one. So the classic first. Nice balance, sharp, definitely fun floral. Let's take the uh, taste the modern version of this one now. So this one's, in my opinion, better. Uh, it's much more round. The simple syrup really adds the body that this one's lacking. This one's a little thin. This one has a little bit more weight in the palate and the maraschino definitely pops on this one a little bit more. So now that we've tasted them all both side by side, um, let's talk about some of the variations. And technically, they're kind of variations into themselves, 
one with a little bit more of a modern twist with a simple syrup. Um, but one of the most popular variations is by Gaz Regan called the Moonlight Cocktail, where they take out the Luxardo and replace it with Cointreau and the lemon they replace with lime. So that is one of the more popular versions of it. And before we started filming, Rob told me about a really cool one that he came up with um, using black sea salt, which is super cool. So what was that one that you made? Well, it's called the Witch's Brew. And then part of it is because I, one, did added egg white to it. So to add this like, kind of frothy craziness Yum. to it. But I was obviously with the deep purple color, mm -hmm. and it's like really kind of crazy color with the white foam on top, super fun. And then I added simple syrup, but a jalapeno simple syrup, which took it to a whole nother level. Wow. Brought in a really interesting and spicy depth to, yeah. to it. And then I finished the whole thing off with black salt, like sea salt on top of it, when I add this really funky kind of flair on top of the, uh, on top of it, it was just uh, it was oh, such man. a fun cocktail. So the black sea salt, you just put it right on top of the foam? Right on top of the foam. That's so cool. Um, Definitely want to make one of those now, damn. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, once you understand kind of the concept and the structure of a classic cocktail like this, uh, you can really have a lot of fun changing out some of the ingredients, adding the jalapeno simple syrup and egg whites uh, like Rob did, um, or whatever comes to your mind. There we have it. We've made the classic version and the more modern version of the aviation, tasted them side by side, and also discussed some popular variations on this cocktail. So we know you've watched videos like this in the past. You know what we're gonna ask. Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon, and you'll get notified anytime we release a cocktail video just like that. Until then, I hope that you enjoy whichever version of the aviation that you like, and cheers everyone.